And welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest has impacted the media world with her scripting. She's written for TV shows including Mad Men and Marvel's Runaways, and her Huffington Post write-up, Why You're Not Married, became a viral sensation mm. that led her to write multiple books, including I Love You and I'm Leaving You Anyway. How about that? Please welcome <laughs> Tracy McMillan. <laughs> the inflection that's right because it gives it more meaning how are you today i'm really great good, good. 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 Yeah. yes i'm feeling the sister <laughs> shirt. Yes. Yes. Awesome. you know you know you've had such an amazing career in television writing scripting mm -hmm. three marriages as I well i have been married yes. and divorced three times yes. I, I say one time each in the 80s 90s and zero zeros <laughs> <laughs> one a, one per decade but you know what the thing is you learn a lot from success but you even learn more from failure right, yeah. right. and i have learned from each of mine and then it really brought me to this place where now I'm a relationship. I'm gonna say it, expert. expert. Because you've kn you've done a lot. I've made all the mistakes. So much. Yeah. All the mistakes that you, your sisters, your mom, everybody. <laughs> I made all of them, but I've used it to basically help other people. Yeah. 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 And what was that transition for you to say, you know what, let me just go ahead and take all of this knowledge and do something with it? Well, it actually started very organically. Like, I would be the person who was always having a relationship conversation with you mm -hmm. and then helping you. And then pretty soon you'd be like, can I have my friend call you? Mm. And then ah. little by little, and then I, people started giving me credit for their marriages. And it just sort of happened very organically. Then I wrote the piece that was in the Huffington Post. Mm -hmm. And it just blew up. Yeah. I did not expect that to happen, but there it was. And then I started going on TV, and like it's just grown. Yeah. 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 Look at that. I mean, that title's pretty blunt. Why mm. you're not married? Right. I mean, so what? What made you pin that article? Well, because I would have these conversations with women, and they'd be like, yeah, "You've been married and divorced. You've been married three times. Make sure the third time. I can't even get <laughs> right. It's They'd be like, I can't even get married once. And I'd be like, Okay, girl. Mm -hmm. Here's why you're not married. Mm. And I just wrote this piece really as though I was speaking to a woman who couldn't figure out what it was. What do you think the biggest mistake is that women make? Well, I'm going to say the biggest mistake is that we feel like the reasons that we're not in the relationship that we want to be in are out there. Mm. Either like the reasons are with the men or men are like this. But when I, I'm saying no matter what, I'm not blaming you, I'm just mm -hmm. saying it's always inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the responsibility for my life is mine. And yes. once I got that, I was able to really start to make changes and look where the real issues were, which mm. was in here. Mm. Mm. Would you marry again? I, I you know what? <laughs> I would. Now, I haven't been married in 15 years. Oh. So um, you're chilling, you're kicking. Yeah, that's oh, right. That's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's like saying I haven't had a drink in 15 oh, years. Oh, you know what I'm right. saying? Where you're like, okay, I haven't had a cigarette in 15 years. Right. <laughs> but yes, I am. <laughs> I knew she was gonna be great. <laughs> I'm like, but I, I actually feel like the work that I have done since the end of my third marriage, I feel like I'm ready. All right. Mm. See, now we're just, we're, Lord, you guys got some recommendations. You want to set me up? <laughs> well, well, I'm going to set, set, set me up. <laughs> but you know what? We're not going together. We're not right for the same man. Yeah, so that's okay. You know? Right. It's okay. Let's, let's jump into okay. your show. Okay, uh, yes. Family or fiance. Yes. Now, what, we all know that Family and your man can be a whole thing. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. A whole thing. A whole mess. That's right. What is the goal of this show, though? All right. So the goal of this show is it's like couples want to get married and their families are against it. And we move the whole team into a house Ooh. in Malibu oh. for three days oh. while they work it out. And it's the whole family and the couple. Yeah. <laughs> three oh members of his family, Not today. three members of hers. And they all, but let me tell you, it goes down, but it also goes up. Mm -hmm. Because oh, people nice. grow. Oh, in three days, you would be shocked. They really? always come in. They come in, they're like, yeah, we're getting married. And they're all happy. And then by day two, they're like, holy, mm -hmm. what just happened? But let me tell you, when you start to get honest, you can have a healing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when people really let the stuff come out, they're able to work through it amazingly. Because, you know, the thing about our families is, they push the buttons, but they install the buttons. Mm. So all the issues are usually a reflection of issues that are going on with the couple. But has there ever been anyone that's come in the house and then they're like, oh, we about to get married. And then after the house, they'd be like, yeah, yeah. No, Indeed. I'm good that, on your, your grandmother and your sister. That is totally. <laughs> <laughs> and you. And you. That has totally happened. And I think the thing is, is there's a lot of, um, 
I think what it is is there's a lot of versions of a happy ending. Mm. A happy ending is when people find what was the mo in the highest good. Mm. Mm. And so sometimes in the highest good means they end the engagement. Right. And sometimes in do the highest... Do you feel that you are a part of that? Do you feel had they never come onto the show mm. that they would probably make it and possibly be together? They would get there eventually, though, because you... It's like the princess and the pea. You are never going to... You can ignore a problem, mm -hmm. but you can't make it go away. Yeah, you can't make mm -hmm. it go by away. By just not looking at it. Right. So <laughs> looking at it, actually... It's a whole problem over here. Well, yeah. well, I, 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 I can't do it. it. See, that's how people live. live. <laughs> they live like that. So, in a way, I feel like once people... People cross the threshold of the house. Yeah. They're saying, and I'm in agreement with whatever's in the highest good, mm -hmm. and yeah. then it just unfolds after mm -hmm. that. What are some of the most common things you see amongst these couples? A lot of times, you'll see like one person who's having a relationship with the parent that is in first position, mm -hmm. and then the fiance is after that, oh. and that doesn't that's, work. That order's wrong. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. Yeah. So that's very, very common. A lot of times you see couples also who have rushed to the altar. Like, they're in love, and they're in it, and the family's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times you see that the parents or the family members are able to see something going on in the couple, that the couple is either unwilling are unable to look at. Oh, go ahead, Ms. Squaz. It's, 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 it's fire on own. How much involvement do you think parents should have right. in people's That's relationships? Well, you know, here's the thing. There's always at least one family member who is bringing the whole thing up. Like, they're holding the highest thing for this couple. Then there is also family members who are bringing it down. So I feel like you have to learn to negotiate where the family is going to be in your relationship. But the family's really important. You're not trying to get them out of there. You're just trying to have the correct relationship to the family and the correct relationship but to your partner. But it says in the Bible, right. yeah. right. that a man yeah. should leave his family. Right. <laughs> leave his wife. That's what it that says. That is true. <laughs> but the family word. is part of it. You don't yeah. want to go through life without your yeah, family. Right. That's right. It's That's about true. integrating. Yeah. Yes, you should. Y'all, I have to, just for 10 seconds. I come from a large family, mm -hmm. mostly women. Okay. Okay, and they can be uh, uh, very opinionated without soliciting their opinion. Yes. And I feel like when I get married to someone, he's marrying me. He's not marrying my family. He's marrying into my family, mm. but he's not marrying my family. Yeah. He's not marrying my sisters. He's not marrying my mother. And I'm not doing the, the same for his and the reciprocal. Right. So my question to you is, when you do have these outside facets that mm -hmm. are going on within your relationship. What's the advice you give them? Well, oftentimes it's about or getting organized in that one particular relationship. You know, like, see, the reason when somebody's making their mother super important is because there's something they haven't resolved with their mother. Oh. So when you start to point that out, and that's going to come into your relationship with your partner. Huh. Huh. So it's really a lot of times it's like there's the person and they need to get right. Then there's the couple and they need to get right. And then there's the family and they need to get right. But it all starts with me being right within. Wow. It always comes back to that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true too. Thank you, you so know. much, Tracy. Mm -hmm. I I I I knew knew yeah. 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 Yes, yeah. we should. We should. Uh, to Definitely. keep up with everything Tracy has going on, please follow her on Instagram yes. at Tracy McMillan. And don't forget to catch Family or Fiance starting this Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern. Let's give it up for Tracy McMillan. I'm going to watch that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.